In this video, let us discuss MCQs on network analysis. If you are preparing for competitive exams, this video will be very much helpful. Hello friends, this is Arun Kumar Yo. I welcome you to my channel Craving Gyan. Starting with the first question, what they have given is we have to calculate the load current that is IL. So we are having voltage source, nothing but a practical voltage source which is connected in parallel and you are having a load RL which is equals to 10 ohms. So this concept is based on Milman's theorem. So this concept is based on Milman's theorem. So what we can do is we have to find the equivalent resistance. I'm going to call it as Milman's resistance and we have to find the equivalent voltage source. Let me call it as Milman's voltage and you have to connect a load resistance that is RL and you have to connect a load resistance that is RL, right? So based on this, we have to apply a KVL in order to determine the value of IL. So what is the value of VM is my question. So how I can find VM? VM equals to what is the formula? V1 divided by R1 plus V2 divided by R2 plus V3 divided by R3 whole divided by 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus 1 divided by R3 able to follow now let me call this one volt as v1 and two volts as v2 and three volts as v3 the resistance corresponding to one ohm is r1 and two ohm is r2 and three ohm is r3 on substituting over here i'll be getting one divided by one plus two divided by two plus three divided by three whole divided by 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3. So we'll be getting numerator as 3 whole divided by. Let me take an LCM. If I take an LCM, I'll be getting 6. 6 plus 3 plus 2 whole divided by 6. So I'll be getting 18 divided by 11. So I got Milman's voltage, which is equals to 18 divided by 11 volts able to follow next i have to find the milman's resistance so in order to find milman's resistance rm is given by rm equals to 1 divided by 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 so what i'll be getting what is the value of r1 it is 1 plus what is the value of r2 it is 2 plus what is the value of r3 i'll be getting 3 so which is equals to 1 divided by what is this entire value you got it is 11 by 6 ohms so you got r milman's nothing but milman's resistance equals to 6 by 11 ohms able to follow next you have to find the load current that is il so il is given by total voltage that is milman's voltage divided by milman's resistance that is rm plus load resistance that is rl so what is the Milman's resistance? It is 18 divided by 11 whole divided by what is Milman's resistance? It is 6 by 11 plus what is the load resistance value? It is 10. So what you will be getting is 18 divided by 11 whole divided by 6 plus 110 whole divided by 11. So what is the value you will be getting load current? Load current equals to 18 divided by 116. So this is 9 divided by 58. So I got load current which is equals to 9 divided by 58 amperes. So the option that is going to follow is option number C. That is 9 divided by 58. 9 divided by 58. Let us discuss with 22nd question. So this question what they are asking you is you have to find the values of R1 and R2. So this is the values of R1 and R2 you have to find. So let me consider this node to be a ground node or zero potential. So with respect to zero, this is at 30 volts. This node is at 30 volts. With respect to ground, this node is at 50 volts. This node is at 50 volts, right? Next, applying nodal analysis over here, that is, let me assume this node to be Vx. So I'll be assuming all the currents are leaving. I'll be assuming all the currents are leaving. What is this current is my question. What is this current? It is Vx minus 100 divided by 5 plus. What is this current? It is 5. 
it is 5 because they have given i2 equals to 5 amperes plus i1 value they have given 1 ampere so 1 I have written which is equals to 0 so I will be getting Vx minus 100 plus 6 times of 5 directly I am taking LCM which is equals to 0 what is 6 5s are 30 100 minus 30 is 70 directly I can write Vx equals to 70 volts Vx equals to 70 volts able to follow next I came to know what is the value of Vx. Now, I came to know what is the value of Vx. Vx equals to 70 volts. Now, I know what is the value of I1. I need to calculate what is the value of R1. So, we know that I1 equals to, we know that I1 equals to Vx minus 50 divided by R1. But what I need to find, I need to find the value of R1. So, R1 is given by Vx minus 50 divided by I1. What is the value of Vx? It is 70 minus 50 divided by I1 is 1 ampere. So, I will be getting 20 ohms. I got R1 equals to 20 ohms. We know that I2 is given by Vx minus 30 divided by R2. We have to find what is the value of R2. R2 is given by Vx minus 30 divided by I2. So, what is the value of Vx? It is 70 minus 30 divided by what is the value of I2? It is 5. So, I will be getting 40 divided by 5 which is equals to 8 ohms. So, I got R1 equals to 20 ohms and R2 equals to 8 ohms I got. So, the suitable option that is going to follow is option number A is correct. Let us discuss with 23rd question. See, in order to discuss this 23rd question, no, you should be very much familiar with respect to KCL, KVL, nodal analysis whatsoever. Main thing is you should know Ohm's law, right? Each and everything in networks works on Ohm's law only. So, you should know Ohm's law. That is V equals to IR. It's a simple thing. We have to find the current that is flowing from left to right. That current, I am going to call it as I that current I am going to call it as I. So, this current is flowing between the nodes V1 and V2. So, how can I write I? I equals to V1 minus V2 minus the drop across this diodes you have to consider. Look at over here, left side polarity is more when compared to right side polarity. It is far more greater. So, I can tell silicon diode is forward biased. When silicon diode is forward biased, its voltage drop will be 0.7. In this case, germanium diode will be forward biased, its forward voltage is 0.3 volts. And here also, silicon diode is forward biased, the drop will be 0.7 volts. So, I will be getting diode drops that is 0.7 minus 0.7 minus 0.3 whole divided by what is the resistance that is involved in the path that is 2k plus 2k I will be getting 4k right. So, what is the value of V1? It is 10 minus 2 minus 1.4 minus 0.3 will be 1.7 whole divided by 4k which is equals to 8 minus 1.7 equals to 6.3 divided by 4k which is equals to 1.575 milliamperes. Hence, the suitable option that is going to follow is option number B is correct. So, let us simplify a simple problem. What they have given is, in a series RLC circuit excited by a DC source, entire voltage will be across which element they are asking. So, we are having a series resonance circuit that is R, L and C which is excited by a DC source. Let me denote its polarity by V and plus over here minus over here. So, the battery voltage is V and this is R, L and C. We know that for a DC circuit, inductor will behave like a short circuit. Inductor will behave like a short circuit, but capacitor will behave like a open circuit. So, final circuit what I will be getting is a resistor and an inductor which is behaving like a short circuit and a capacitor which is behaving like an open circuit. So, this is the one I will be getting. Now, voltage drop across resistor is given by V equals to I times of R. Since there is no closed path, I will be getting current equals to 0. So, the voltage drop across a resistor equals to 0. Anyway, inductor is a short circuit. In a short circuit, drop will be 0. 
so the entire battery voltage that is v it will be appearing across a capacitor so the option that is going to follow is option number c is correct thank you for being on my channel please like the video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel training yarn all the best for your competitive exams thank you